This is the 40 meter amateur band, 7 megahertz. And I've been playing around with noise <clears throat> on SDR receivers. And I notice in the evenings I get all of these um, spikes every uh, few kilohertz, regularly spaced, that are giving lines on the waterfall. That's really annoying, I don't want those. I was trying to find ways of suppressing that interference. And I've solved the problem, as I'll show you. All I have to do is that. And then they go away. You see, there's clean, no noise or um, strange signals there and those little spikes have gone away and you might ask well how did I do that and um, I was discussing with friends about the use of ferrites and this toroid is managing to suppress those signals so what it means is <clears throat> it's blocking the common mode signal that's flowing on the outside of the couch it's being picked up on the outer and fed into the SDR receiver that's my favorite SDR receiver um, so I thought I'd do a test and I'll make a circuit where I uh, split the antenna. This is the antenna coming in. It's a loop antenna, Wellbrook loop. Split it into two branches. One goes through the choke and the other one doesn't. And then I've got a big switch and I can choose. And I noticed that it didn't work anymore. And then I realized, of course, that this branch shorts from here to here, even when the switch is putting the signal through there. So I can demonstrate that just by putting this uh, short circuit here <coughs> across the choke, the, so the outer common mode current bypasses the choke and the problem comes back as you can see so here on the screen you can see that those nasty signals have come back again so that's an interesting demonstration that you really can suppress interference on a receiver by using common mode choke at the input to clean up what is fed into the receiver input